welcome back to my channel reclaiming jen i'm jen and on my channel i talk about online teaching and i help other people start working from home teaching kids from around the world and finding the joy again in teaching if you've been following my channel you know that i am a former substitute teacher with my public school board. I was there for 18 years and I have recently resigned from that position and I'm teaching online and helping others start teaching from home as well. In this video, if you are a VIP kid teacher, there's something important that you need to know. So I'm bringing you that information here. It's an update from one of my other videos a few months ago. But before we get to that, if you are new to my channel or you've been here before but haven't yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button. I am reaching towards my goals with YouTube and I would love for you to help me get there. Your subscriptions help my channel grow and your comments and your likes on these videos also help my channel grow. So thank you so much. All right, let's get on to the news from VIP Kid. In a previous video, I had told you that the Apple score review process was going to be changing. In March, they were going to begin not reviewing any Apple scores that you received from parent feedback that were less than four apples. So if you received a one apple, a two apple, or a three apple score, that was going to be just too bad. They were not going to take the time to review your class recording and decide if your class was worthy of a one apple, two apple, or a three apple score. And I think that was upsetting for a lot of people because we have a feedback average. Now, if you have excellent five apple feedback, then your percentage is 5.0. But if you receive four apples, three apples, two apples, one apples, it can affect your feedback average. And this is an average of the last 100 five apple feedbacks that you receive from parents. And so then to not have the opportunity to have the class reviewed and the Apple score perhaps removed or found baseless, then it can affect your teacher bookings. So VIP Kid agreed to put a halt on the new procedure and they were going to amend their decision. So now we have the answer to this amendment. So in your weekly update, they have updated the Apple score review process. Here are the changes. It says over the last few months, we've been working on updating the Apple score process. After receiving teacher feedback and suggestions, we've made some new changes following the delay of our originally scheduled March 15th update. We're ready to announce that starting June 1st, 2021, there will be several new updates regarding parent feedback. Teachers will automatically receive five apples for a finished class if a parent does not leave feedback within 15 days of a finished class. Teachers will be able to reply to parent feedback and replies to one to four apple feedback will be visible to all parents on the platform, not just the parents who left the feedback. Okay, so if you get a poor review or you get a one to a four apple review, you can reply to that parent and then everyone will see that reply in the feedback. When parents leave a one to four apple score, they will be strongly encouraged to leave written comments regarding the class. Upon completion of an apple score, if parents leave the comment section blank, a pop-up notification will appear reminding them to leave written feedback. I like this. I like that the parent is prompted to leave written feedback to explain why they have um, decided to give you less than five apples. Not only is the comment section important for other parents to see, but it's also good for you to understand um, any improvements that you can make, or maybe, you know, sometimes we we get uh, complacent in the classroom and you know maybe our energy isn't right there or you know you've had a, a poor sleep and your kids were up and you were arguing. Um, you know, things happen and you just maybe lose that spark that you had in your classroom. And, um, and this is a great opportunity to find out and check yourself and uh, make changes in the classroom when needed. So I think this is a positive thing. There's also the chance that the comments won't be favorable and then the other parents will see that, you know, the good with the bad, I think. <laughs> this is why it's important to just continue to do a really great job in the classroom, bring your A game, prepare, and um, 
get those kids smiling and working and giving their output. Um, to continue with the update, it says, we hope these new changes benefit the teacher community and we thank all the teachers who voiced their um, feedback for this process. And they also added that they would like to remind teachers that starting June 1st, as previously announced in the weekly update on February 16th, that VIP Kid will no longer review parent feedback for one to three Apple scores. Unless the parent feedback is discriminatory, is regarding highly sensitive content, or is unrelated to the teacher starting June 1st. So there are some instances where it can be reviewed, um, but most generally, VIP Kid will not be spending the time reviewing the class recordings and deciding whether your class deserved a one, two, or three Apple score. And to follow up on that, leaving a reply for parent feedback, we have seven days to respond to parent feedback, and I don't think that's new. Um, you can go in uh, and see when your parents leave a review and you can reply to their review. Usually what I do when someone leaves feedback, if I'm even just getting tags and five apples, I thank them for taking the time to leave five apple feedback for our class. I look forward to seeing your child next time. So um, just some kind of reply to acknowledge that you appreciate the time they took to review your class. So that's something I recommend to people that are looking for regulars. If you want um, families to keep coming back to your classes, it's just a nice way to be grateful for parents for choosing you. What are your thoughts on the new policy? Do you think you're going to like it better than the past? Um, does it affect you? Are you uninterested? Is your reaction, oh, whatever, it's five apple feedback. Um, I know right now I just checked my feedback and my parent feedback rate right now is 3.9%. Mm. So my feedback rate has been very low lately. I have this one wonderful parent who leaves feedback for me. Usually it's just apples and tags, but she's pretty much the only one who leaves consistent feedback. So I appreciate her. I thank her in each of her reviews and um, we do the best we can. <laughs> I currently do not ask for feedback, but I have in the past. So let me know in the comments of this video, video what you do. The next short update I want to give you is the Mini Mighty Reading Club's Summer Semester. So as you know, I posted a video in the spring leading up to their spring semester for Mini Mighty Reading Club. This was their official launch. This is VIP Kid teachers who teach a reading club to North American children. And I've actually read, correct me if I'm wrong, that it can be children from around the world. I don't know if that's completely true, but I think I read that in the Facebook group. So if you're interested, I will tag the video with all of the information here from the spring and you can hear all about the information for uh, the requirements. Your child should be at least four years old, four to nine years old. I joined the parent group on Facebook. So I'm reading a lot of comments and they're talking about the teachers. They love the teachers. And some of the comments that they're leaving are, my child enjoys the lesson. It's very good experience to help overcome shyness and anxiety. Another comment is his teacher at school let us know his words per minute increased from 35 to 51. My child likes to read daily and I have never had to tell him to read anymore. He just does it on his own. Ah, I wish my kids would read on their own. <laughs> there are free trial classes available and if you are interested in signing up, I do receive an affiliate bonus um, for helping you find the Mini Mighty Reading Club. My code is J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R 9583. I hope that's right. <laughs> I will put my code here if you are interested in signing up with me. You will get $15 off of the enrollment and I receive $15 for helping you find Mini Mighty Reading Club. So I hope you'll sign up your child today. Okay, and the last thing I wanna to talk to you about before I go is just a reminder that if you as a VIP Kid teacher are interested in signing up for GoGo -Go Kid, I'm sure you've heard about the $300 signing bonus. Once you sign your contract with GoGo -Go Kid before the end of May, you are eligible for a $300 US bonus. And this money you are eligible for if you 
open 20 slots, just 20 slots in a whole month after you sign your contract. You are disqualified if you have a teacher no-show, teacher IT, a teacher cancellation. So if you can avoid all of those for 20 classes, and you don't even have to teach those 20 classes, you just have to open them up in those peak, peak times. So these are the evening slots in Beijing from 7 p.m. Beijing time to 9 p.m. Beijing time. You have the whole month to do it. So you can space those out if you need to. You can open them all up in the same week. You only need 20 classes open. So this is a huge opportunity to grab $300 from the company. If you need help applying to GoGo Kid, I'm here to help you. I've got some videos walking you through the demo process. I have recommendations for other teachers, walkthroughs, and um, I would love to help you. So if you are interested, there's only 20 days left to sign your contract. So hop to it. It's a super opportunity for a backup company, um, so for extra security and insurance for your online teaching career. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Once again, if you have not clicked that subscribe button, I appreciate your help growing my channel. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.